Hi friends, today I am going to try to remove an old toilet and replace it with a new toilet. Now, let me show you some of what I've got to do here. Before we do that, I want to explain why it's important for you guys to watch me rather than a plumber. And that's because I make entertaining mistakes. Probably the only reason. Uh, I have a screwdriver. I've got a knife. I'm going to need a putty knife also to get rid of the wax um, and then a couple of wrenches. And um, I also have a bidet there because teacher salary, um, bucket, a bunch of t-shirts that I'm going to use to sop up messes, towels, and uh, cardboard here. Um, and I'll be able to put the toilet on the cardboard. All right, the first thing that you have to do is you have to go here and make sure that you turn the water off. If you don't turn the water off, uh, it's going to create one heck of a mess. So I'm going to turn off the water. Then what I'm going to do is uh, pull apart all of the extra goodies here. And uh, then I have to flush it numerous times and get all the water drained out of it. One of the things I want you guys to know is that I put bleach in there earlier and washed it out just because you don't want to deal with nasty, icky water. All right, the more water that you can get rid of out of that bowl, the better. Um, and feel free to use a plunger to do so. I got rid of most of the water there. And uh, now I'm going to go back around here and I have to remove this. I have to remove that. And uh, that's the water source. Water is going to flow down. And so that's why I have a bucket. This is the most fun I've had all day. There's a good chance you won't have to do this part if you don't have the little add-on bidet. You could just leave the seat on. And I'm going to open this and some is going to fall from here and I don't know how to be able to get that there in time. Um, but that's what we have towels for. Okay. I'm going to remove that because it's easier to get to. Then I'll pull the top off and remove that. That seems reasonable. It'll be easier to get to. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay. Right tell you lefty loosey dummy. Oh, that's going to make this job more fun. is that that valve is not 100% fixed. So what I'm going to do is go downstairs and turn off the main water. Now what I have to do is get up under here and remove that one. And then there's one on the other side. Good. And I moved it so you can tell that this one should be loose also, and it is. It makes life a little bit easier. It's always a good idea to throw all your stuff someplace where you won't lose it. All right, what I'm gonna do next is uh, move. I'm gonna make sure that this moves, and it does. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove that. Now this is, the bidet system is completely removed now. Good. All right. Yes. Now we'll see if, okay. This does move. What I'm doing here is I just removed the back. I'm gonna dump water just into the toilet, just because, and then I'll plunge it down. And then we'll go from there. I'm dreadfully worried that I'm going to drop this entire thing. But what you might consider doing is getting a friend to help you, but also uh, maybe taking a rag and blocking this so that you don't spill water anywhere. 
but I'm going to get this out of the way. Look, it's been painted multiple times with that same toilet there. Now what you have to do is use your knife to clean out this. And then I should be able to remove the, the bolts over there. This is usually the time I expect to hurt myself. So let's go slow. Okay. And then, pro tip, shut your knife. Okay. It's popped this off like that. And then I have to remove both of those bolts. There's one on this side and then there's one on the other. Again, they make tools for a reason. save these parts just in case. Then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. All right, before I do anything, I'm going to clean this mess up because if I try to pick that up and walk out that door, there's a darn good chance I'm going to trip. That's called maturity. <laughs> or trial and error. All right, I'm like not even joking. It is like a thousand degrees in here. Luckily, I chose a day that's like 90 some degrees outside, but um, yeah, now I'm going to move this bottom tank out of the bathroom. Alright, cool. Hey, before I do that, I just thought of something. I'm going to actually put it onto the cardboard. I'll just lean it on the cardboard and clean the wax. That way I don't bring wax all over the house. Tempted to just throw it out the window. I don't think I can make the neighbor's yard, though. <sighs> Not that I would do that. Okay. Let me show you what we got. All right. That is ugh, part of the seal. Um, that gasket, okay, is fine. Um, I'm going to need... Oh, sorry. I'm going to need the new... Bolts because those are bent and nasty. I'm also going to want to plug that so it doesn't vent up any nastiness. All right. The bulk of the wax is there, and that's fine. So I'm going to clean that up and uh, then stopper it. Check and see if I need a new one of these. And right now, the name for that is escaping me. So what I'm doing right now is getting rid of the old cock without hurting myself. Clean this out. Again, I have gloves. And there you have it. We've successfully removed the old toilet. We're going to get it out of here and bring the new one up. And hopefully that will go on nice and easily.